For many, a day like today calls for one thing. It's relaxing, soaking it all in. Hope it lasts another six months. There's a reason they're called the lazy days of summer. Heat slows down the central nervous system, making us feel tired. And though many of us would take summer over winter any day, any extreme temperature is stressful to the body. I am getting so hot. You definitely a lot more sluggish, more fatigued. That's for sure. Little maybe short tempered. <laughs> extreme heat can throw our brain chemicals off balance and affect our mood. Blood pressure can also drop in the heat, which means your heart needs to work harder to make up for it. If you're dehydrated, then you have a less uh, you have less blood volume, so also that will tend to bring the blood pressure down. And that's why, like we said, people might faint or feel kind of tired or dizzy. That's because their blood pressure is getting low. If that workout seems harder, that's because it is too hard and you could experience exertional heat stroke. If they're running into problems with fluid balance or with uh, electrolytes, then they can get muscle cramps. That's a common early sign of uh, heat stress, particularly in people that exercise. The flip side of exercising in the heat is that you'll have a harder workout. You'll become fitter in terms of how much exercise you can do in the heat, and it does translate to a certain degree also to a non-hot environment. Whether you exercise in the heat or not, we all have one built-in adaptation after several days exposure to warmer temperatures. What our body does is actually secrete more sweat, um, develop more what we call heat-activated sweat glands, and each one of those glands secretes more sweat as a result of the adaptations that occurs. Of course, if you are going to exercise in the heat, keep hydrated, drink long before you're thirsty, and drink a lot afterwards to replace all the fluids that you've lost. Also protect your skin, it's your largest organ. With heavy sweating, the glands can clog up and get irritated, that can lead to a rash on your skin. And if you have sunburn, the skin's damaged and just can't let the sweat out properly. And that's your main method of cooling yourself, meaning you're just gonna feel terrible. So the upside for an ex exercising on a day like this, mm -hmm. it, you get a much better uh, workout, that's you're right. in better shape, but, but you might pass out. Technically, yes, that's true. <laughs> okay. Thanks very much, <laughs> you're Pete. You're welcome.